This is BBI to the one you welcome back again on this platform where we tell you the gospel truth. Since the saga of Fadambaka started most recently, I decided not to get involved or speak about it. But something prompted me. In fact, it is a reverend father, the someone he delivered that best describes the man, Reverend Fadambaka. I want you to listen to it in case you've not heard it. And when I come back, I will advise Father Mbaka in my own little way. As the Archbishop with Governance Ministry. Oya Mekuna Watch. We also have Shisha Elijahs. Shisha Elijahs. God said to Elijah, go and anoint Elisha. If you go to the verses before 19, I mean before where we started, I think it's 1 Kings chapter 19 we are reading today. There were three people God told Elijah to anoint. Elisha to replace him. Jehu as a prophet. Then Hazael as king. Jehu as king of Israel. And then Hazael as king of Samaria. Anointing. God did not tell Elijah, go and prophesy who will become king. He told him, go and do what? Anoint. Specifically. Who becomes president and governor? It's not by prophecy. It's by anointing. It's only Shisha Elijah that will stand on the altar with microphone and say, as I was praying, the Holy Spirit invaded me. And he has told me who is going to be the president in 2023. I prophesy, and it's this man. That person is a Shisha. Where did your generation of prophets get the idea of three people are going to contest for presidents somebody comes and says god reveals that this person that will become that is not prophecy that is a game of probability out of three one person must become that's why you have different prophets in nigeria somebody will say this one another person will say that one another person will say this one at the end of the day one person will be correct it's a game of probability i'm telling you now because there is too much confusion it's the anointing and whoever god anoints against all odds the person must do what must become whether the person has structure or not whether the person they give shishi or not. And all those God even anointed, they know they give shishi. <laughs> it's only in Christian dominated areas that we hear men of God prophesying about who be king, governor or this or that. Our Muslim brothers, God bless them. In the north, elections take place. Do you hear imams prophesying that this person will be or not be? Do they not have people coming out to fill those positions? If they want to plan who to vote, they will go and do their normal political calculation. We will not do political calculation. We will come out and carry microphone and be talking nonsense. God does not prophesy. Anybody who tells you, I know why I'm telling you this, because instead of you now deciding who to vote in conscience, one man of God that you like has prophesied that this is the person. Meanwhile, this is not the person that is in your mind to vote, but because he has said his prophecy, you now you are now afraid. Thinking that when you vote another person, you are going against God's candidates. We are confusion is all over the place. But when it comes to politics, we we'll come and be showing ourselves the Muslims are more mature than us in many things. And shame to Christian ministers. Big shame. Good. This father, Oloma, is one reverend father I love so much. And many times I've brought his message on this platform. Trust me, I'm not a Catholic and I'm not a regular churchgoer. But I listened to this man's sermon as much as I do while I was in school. Back in those days, the only gospel music I play at that time mostly is Reverend Father Mbaka's music because it is such an inspiration. It guarded my morals and inspired me, molded me to a large extent. And I believe he did the same with so many people out there. Don't but I can tell you, Father Mbaka have deviated completely from this calling and had delved into politics and have been given utterances recklessly. You see, I'm an advocator that religious leaders should participate to, to be vocal when it comes to bad governance. But not the way Father Mbaka is exhibiting it. Not because he's saying what I don't like, but he is doing it in such a way it becomes so obvious that he's carrying out one personal agenda or the other that is far away 
from what God asked him to do. He will make some utterances just like this one. Whether Buhari will live well or not, I cannot blame God. Any word has not revealed to me, I won't say. Otherwise, it may not come true. But, but what I'm trying to yeah. tell you right now is Buhari is a man of integrity. Buhari, in the spirit world, is a glory to Nigeria. Buhari, in the spirit world, is a blessing to this country. Buhari is a liberator for Nigeria. You see, when you say something like this, we know that God is not the author of confusion. We believe that you as a human being have your own you know, mindset, your own perception on issues. You could come out boldly and sincerely to say, this is my own view about this government. It is your entitlement to hold such opinion. But for you to hide under the rope of a reverend father and now, you know, try to blackmail the people emotionally. Now, I say like a Madonna Chuku, you know, when you now come up with say, God told you this, God told you that. Whereas it is your own thought and not God speaking to you. Because what has happened so far in Nigeria is a clear, and you refuse. You have exhibited some kind of, you know, I will not call it pride, but some kind of, you know, recklessness. You know, stubbornness, let me just put it that way. In these issues. So I just hope that after you have gone to this monastery to have, some people call it um, spiritual rehabilitation. When you come back, I just hope and pray that God will touch you there to come back to your calling. Where you can use your music to direct the people, to teach the people how to live right, and also to promote good governance in our homeland. So... Father Mbaka, this message is directed to you and to those of you who are zombie, you know, I call so many people zombie on this platform because whenever it comes to emotion, talk about Biafra, one, talk about religion, two, they will carry their sense and put somewhere and start showing, following people like zombies. They don't reason. They don't use their God-given, you know, brain to, to reason, to think because God himself wants you to think. That's why he says, Ask question. Verify every spirit that is speaking to you. Don't just follow people blindly or take people, people's words, hook, climb, and sinker, including the one I am telling you here. All you need to do is to think through it, verify some of the informations as much as you can, and make a decision for yourself. I keep saying it. Anyone that takes the right for you to choose is an oppressor he never loves you so that is the message and i hope father mbaka gets this message and those who are following him as much as all my followers because this advice is for every one of us verify every spirit because now so nigerians did not ask question when they had change they never asked which change and this is what nigeria had become under apc government i'm signing out don't forget to subscribe like i share. drop this your comment on the comment section please like and share this video it's important if you like this video share it so that more people will get to see this message bye bye for now stay safe